Hello everyone, welcome to Dark Fate Tarot. You are joining me on the end of a pretty rainy, sunny, whatever, overcast day in Brussels. It's spring. Welcome to new subscribers. Welcome back to those who already know me. So this is a very, very impromptu um, unboxing, first impressions kind of thing. And that is because I literally just received it today. Now this is, of course, Paolo Barbieri, I think it is, Alice in Wonderland Oracle. Before I show you that, I just want to say I already have his unicorns, which I used last year quite a bit. I have his star dragons, and I also have night fairies. Night fairies also I use quite a bit. Um, so these were used heavily in 2023. What year, what year was that? And, um, and also I have, believe it or not, I have Dante's Inferno still in its plastic, as you can see. So anyway, I did think twice, so quite a bit actually, before pulling the trigger on the Bar Barbieri's um, Alice in Wonderland because I was like, do I really want to add to it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, something in me said, go for it. It was 17 euros, about 20 US dollars. Um, it's 36 cards. It's a low Scarabeo production. And I believe Paolo Barbieri is um, the artist and the guidebook author. We'll check that in a moment. Anyway, I went and opened this deck. I've already taken the cell phone off. I actually got about halfway through the walkthrough uh, that I was just doing with myself. And I was like, I have to show this because this is, this is like, I don't know, this might be my favorite one by him. I don't know. Okay, so it's very plain on the inside that you can see. This is the guidebook. We're going to take a look in a moment. I think it was text by Cal and Eshenazi. Sorry, I, I got that completely wrong. So Cal and Eshenazi is the guidebook author. And of course, now that I remember this name and I did see it, um, she's also, as I recall, the creator for Tara de la Nuit. She's the writer for that guidebook as well. And some other Los Scarabeo decks. So interesting. If you have Tara de la Nuit, this might also be a great companion, this deck already. Anyway, I don't have Tara Della Marie. Something went wrong with my order. <laughs> I ordered it recently, something went wrong, so I don't have it right now, but there you go. So anyway, let's take a look at the cards because people, like I was just, I haven't even taken a look at the guidebook, but I just loved the cards so much. I was like, oh, I have to show these. Okay, so these are the backs. The deck is still in order, so we're gonna have a look at it in order. And we're just gonna go through each card. I'm just gonna read them out. And then we'll take a look at the guidebook. Um, it's typical low Scarabeo uh, cardstock. Um, you know, the, it might yours might come a bit warped. I don't know. This is thirty six cards. Um, and quickly, just want to look at the guidebook. So I just will look at the back. The guidebook does come in um, English. We have Spanish, Italian, and. Portuguese, I think that's Portuguese. So yeah, it is going to be a guidebook that's multilingual. Okay, so the first one is Seeing a White Rabbit. Look at that. I saw, I saw the, color, the green in this deck, oh, just, yeah. So this is Seeing a White Rabbit. And first of all, I just wanna say the portrayal of Alice in this deck, I just really love because it's refreshingly different. It's a different look, it's a mature look, Uh yeah. She's made, she's been revamped, right, for this era, and I think that's great. Okay, it says here, down the rabbit hole. A little door to a new land. I love the dress in this, actually. A drink me labeled bottle. I just love her clothing, and I just, this is a great fashion deck for me. But yeah, it's beautifully done, you can already see, right? Too many tears. A splendidly dressed rabbit. The little mouse. A queer looking party. Growing and growing. Bill the lizard. So there you can see it better. The smoking caterpillar. A girl or a snake. 
unexpected invitation. The Duchess. The Cheshire Puss. The Cheshire Cat, obviously. A Mad Tea Party. Let's get that in focus. It says here, a door in the tree. Painted roses. The king of hearts. The queen of hearts. Playing croquet. <laughs> Bad uh, hedgehog. <laughs> The Griffin, oh, beautifully done. Paolo Barbieri does birds so well, the feathers and so forth. Well, the Griffin is a mythical creature, but part bird. Sorry, I want to make sure we get that focus from there. I'm trying to make sure it's focused. Well, there we go. The Mock Turtle. Lobster quadrille. The knave of hearts. The jewelry box. The mad hatter. Wow, look at that red, that pop of red. The duchess's cook. Making use of the ink. Waking up. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the walrus and the carpenter, the white queen, Humpty Dumpty, the lion and the unicorn, and Alice, Queen Alice. Okay, so that was just really a walkthrough. I can't give you a review because literally we're just looking at it. It is really first impressions. Um, if anybody's doing a review, I'd love to hear your review of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I just really love the pop of this deck so much. I believe, by the way, if you have any of this other's decks, if you have uh, the unicorn, the night fairies, or... Um, star dragons which i think are, they're not the same but of course it's that similar vein right of like fantasy fairy tale kind of thing they're not going to be competing with this i just want to make that very very clear i already think that personally but anyway let's go back to the deck and let's just do a quick reading of the guidebook so i just opened it randomly it says the king of hearts let's get one with color in because i just the Queen of Hearts. Let's just get this one because I want a pop of color actually while I read this. Sorry, I just, I have to. So this is number 20. Let's go for that one. Okay, so number 20. It's going to be a short reading, I think. Yes. Okay, The Queen of Hearts. And again, um, I made a mistake at the beginning. The text is by Cal Ann Eshenazi. The Queen of Hearts. In the story, the Queen of Hearts was Wonderland's monarch. Quink tempered and irascible. There was nothing she loved more than decreeing death sentences, usually unwarranted. Her favorite words were, off with their heads. She also liked to play croquet, but by some twisted and complicated rules that gave her plenty of room to order executions on the spot. Later on in the story, Alice discovered that the queen's mantra was sentence before verdict. Meaning, well, well, well. Seems like someone is about to lose their temper, aren't they? And it is not such a good thing because right now your emotions are not guided, are not guides you should blindly trust or follow. Let this whirlwind, of, whirlwind sorry, of intense feelings calm down before doing anything else. Before doing anything, you would only regret having acted too hastily and too emotionally. Key question: Do you usually act on emotion? Or do you take the time to calm down before you act or speak? Wow, what a reading. Um, so yeah, I, that was a short reading, but powerful. And it had a journal prompt with it. 
So again, this is first impressions. I'm going to keep it short. There's no pairings or anything. Um, I'd love to do a fuller video on this, but I just, I was so enamored by the color and the art, to be very frank. Um, I was so enamored by it that I just really wanted to do a review, uh, not a review, sorry, a walkthrough and share it because I just think it's gorgeous. Um, and if anybody's out there contemplating purchasing it, um, I do know a friend has gone and bought it, so I'd love to hear her thoughts. I'm gonna look forward to that. Um, and I'm sure there'll be in-depth reviews and pairings and whatnot going on. Um, but I really like it. So my, that's my very first impressions. I love the art. I love the colors, the pop of colors we've got going on. I like that it's not the same as the other decks that we have by Paolo Barbieri. I feel that way anyway, visually. Um, I like that Carol Ann Eshenazi has done the guidebook. So we've got different difference again in writers and everything. So yeah, really looking forward to more thoughts on this. Um, I will be working with this because I'm already working with the um, Llewellyn Alice deck. As some of you know on Insta, that's my uh, next review coming up. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned. But this was just very impromptu. So thank you for joining me today. If you have, <laughs> I wish you all a lovely weekend wherever you are. And take care now.